हेलो एवरीवन सो आज है हमारे साथ अंकित गुप्ता वन ऑफ द ब्राइट स्टूडेंट ऑफ कोडिंग एंड ही इज फ्रॉम एम कॉलेज एंड ही हैज ऑफर फ्रॉम जेड एस एसोसिएट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्ग्रेट अंकित for your job offer and then uh, we are really excited to know about your journey from college to the job so just let's start from your first year okay okay so like i came to college with some basic knowledge of dsa i had uh, cse in my 11th and 12th so in first year i tried to do some startup and i tried to form some team here and there uh, which obviously failed and in second year i joined up coding uh, for the level up batch which was taught by rajneesh bhai and uh, there i learned what actually coding is what dsa is and i got some nice grip on topics like recursion backtracking uh, dp and trees and all these and uh, after my second year i like i properly began programming in my third year actually in second year i wasted a lot of time and in third year i joined another course of subesh bhai which is ip batch which is uh, which proved to be the absolute game changer for me uh, i gained a lot of a lot of confidence and i gained a lot of knowledge in that course mm. yeah so right after my third year i tried to apply in companies here and there so uh, zs came to my college and the, the the very first company that came to my college was zs and i happened to crack it and yeah so that is my journey okay so ankit tell me about your success mantra success mantra they i don't think there is any success mantra as such i mean just be confident and be consistent with your hard work yeah. uh, there there will be a lot of phases in when you won't be you know uh, consistent you won't be uh, that uh, mm-hmm. hard working like the the low phase will come the high phase will come the only thing that should keep you going is your belief and your your belief that i will succeed that is that is pretty much all about the mantra there is no such mantra as such okay yeah. so uh, that's uh, good ankit so ankit tell me about your uh, something about your interview experience okay so interview experience was uh, so uh, zs uh, conducts its, inter- its interview in three phases so first phase is the the screening round which has three phase in itself so first round is aptitude uh, there is this uh, there are 50 i guess depending upon uh, which which uh, role you are applying for so in my bts role there were 50 questions in 45 minutes uh, which were and the questions were pretty decent the level was i would say above average and after that uh, the second round is a mini case study so we were given some case study and we had to read about uh, the 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 depths of it and there were some mcqs so it was pretty intuitive yeah. and after that round we had a video interview which was proctored by ai yeah. so uh, in that we were given some hr questions and uh, guesstimates and we had to answer them according to our own uh, you know skills so after that uh, a few of the students were rejected and few were selected Yeah. and second phase was second phase was a, a technical interview which was mainly based on your like uh, your projects your sql skills your dbms skills and all these things a basic question of dsa was also asked mm. uh, and uh, yeah so after that i was called for the ebi round which is the main round so it has a case study plus yeah. hr questions plus some more uh, knowledge about the the knowledge and the skills you have gained throughout the your uh, college life yeah. yeah so it is more about the communication skills in the last round so yeah okay so uh, what were the sort of questions that were asked d- during your interview uh so in technical round it was mainly about sql yeah so uh, in sql questions like primary key foreign key you know very basic question that we read in sql and mm-hmm. uh, they very start and there were some queries i had to write some queries here and there so the second round was mainly based on sql mainly and the third round was very like holistic in a way that uh, in my the my english and my the way i present my thoughts the way i you know communicate with the interviewer yeah. it was checked and yeah so and it was ma- mainly based on the third round was mainly based on the case study so they show they showed me a table and i had to figure out what problems are there with the table what data i, I can change with that yeah so all these things were in my third round okay great yeah. right. so um, ankit uh, when did you uh, decide that you have an, an inclination towards coding uh i would say even before my college i knew that uh, coding is somewhere i need to go initially it was mainly because i was inclined towards a startup 
like yeah. so i was inclined towards you know let's make a my, my own company my own team i'll code my own product and you know all those marks are covered those motivations came to me in my uh, first year itself yeah. but after that when i realized the the reality is a, a bit different so yeah. i Uh, so i tried to like focus on the very main skills that are required for the interviews and uh, you know placements so that happened in my second year and i became very serious in my third year itself okay yeah. that's why you are like uh, very much interested in coding yeah i mean uh, i would say the the uh, uh, part of it goes to sumit sir uh, they the, the channel the youtube uh, it helped me a lot i mean it, in guiding the direction about the directions which i should take so yeah So, Ankit, mm-hmm. tell me some topics that you think uh, that were really helpful during your preparation. For the yes, specifically, uh, I would say, uh, just should be you should you should be very strong with SQL and DBMS part, right? So you should be very thorough with the uh, the SQL. Apart from SQL, puzzles you should and puzzles is something you should do for every interview. Like uh, I haven't heard an interview in which puzzles were not were not asked. It may be Amazon, may be even Microsoft. Puzzles are asked. So in ZS two, uh, there were four or five puzzles that were asked to me. Yeah. So if if someone is good with the communication skills, mm-hmm. puzzles, uh, simple mathematics, and SQL, yeah. it is good good enough for uh, ZS. So do you want to tell me something about the uh, description about the puzzle that was uh, that was asked? Uh, puzzles were so you can search top fifty puzzles from GFG. Uh, and there are a list of fifty puzzles, and just solve them. You'll get the idea of what kind of puzzles are asked. And puzzles are pretty straightforward. Like, for example, there's a puzzle that is like the, we used to play a game in our childhood that there, there's a boat and there are some devils and there's some piece that we have to cross the boat to the other end. So those kind of puzzles and uh, puzzles like rope burning puzzle and there is a puzzle called hundred door puzzle. So all these puzzles are very famous and all these are asked in interviews. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ankit. So, any other thing uh, you want to share with us about your interview, about your experience with pep coding? Uh, yeah, I can share about the pep coding uh, experience part. Uh, so, in my third year, I was basically hopeless about what I'll do, and you know, I was spending a lot of time in coding, but I wasn't improving uh, that much. Uh, that course with Suvesh Bia, that is IP course, that helped me a lot. I mean, in gaining the confidence, in gaining the right skills, it helped me a lot, and. Uh, i had texted so wish we after the placement that uh, that i have got placed and he asked for a party so he is very helpful he is very uh, you know genuine and he is a great teacher yeah. so if someone is confused about what to do in dsa i would say ip course by subesh bia is the is the key to it yeah the the, uh, the oral experience was very good the topics were explained very nicely uh, especially graph and dp were explained very nicely so yeah <clears throat> um okay ankit so uh tell me about something uh, related to your experience uh, while studying in pep coding how you okay. managed to uh, study day to day so i have joined both the courses one was offline course with rajnish bia <clears throat> and the other one was online with subesh bia so in the offline course we used to reach early at the center and we used to sit till the late and we used to study and we used to ask so all the tas were around and <clears throat> it was very helpful back then so uh, in offline one i would say i was very serious but we did the topics and the questions that were covered in the uh, offline part very thoroughly yeah. yeah so we used to reach early and used to go late and talk to teachers talk to tas and gain a lot of experience and all that in online one i was very serious because the placements were approaching and so uh, i would say uh, spending approximately 6 to 7 hours apart from the class was enough to you know uh, gain a good level of dsa which is required for the you know uh, companies like amazon microsoft and all these uh, i guess this much is enough okay so okay <laughs> have you ever solved the questions of lead code and competitive programming also a uh, competitive i tried uh, i wasn't really uh, com- comfortable in competitive but lead code i have solved around 500 questions and on gfg i have solved around 300 400 questions so yeah i have experience about the dsa part so apart <laughs> from dsa you have also learned uh, system design and web development all web development i am trying and learning right now system design i have to i mean it is uh, important right now because companies ask a lot of questions on lnd Yeah, web development. I'm learning. I'm I'm uh, I'm learning Node.js. Uh, just began with React.js and all these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm gaining all the skills too. Okay. 
so okay ankit uh, so uh, any advice you want to give our juniors uh, juniors i would say uh, just as soon as you can uh, just cover all the topics of dsa and after that focus on everything else the, the web development can wait the lld can wait everything can wait just cover the dsa part uh, very thoroughly and after that do everything you want to do yeah so that's all i guess thank you yes ma'am okay okay so thank you ankit for your time and it was nice talking to you thank you ma'am same here